I see vegetables as my future. You do. Y'all, it's cold, and it's going to be cold in the morning, and it's going to be colder Wednesday morning. So I know to some of y'all out west and north where it's like in the minus degrees, this isn't cold, but believe me, in the south, <laughs> where we don't get much cold weather like this, I think it's going to be 20 or 21, maybe in the teens. I'm not sure. So what I'm doing, I am making us some, some something to warm our innards. <laughs> so I am going to make some broccoli cauliflower, uh, cheesy broccoli cauliflower soup. Uh, and I've got my chicken on behind me. It's going to have chicken in it. Uh, I'm boiling it, and I'm just prepping some of my vegetables. So I just want to show you uh, how I did that. And this is just uh, fresh broccoli right here that I've just kind of cut in, in bite-sized pieces. And I've already got one. Uh, this was a huge carrot. I'm not sure I'm going to put the whole thing in, so I cut it in half. But I'm wanting to cut it in little old bitty pieces but because I want it to cook. Uh, quickly so I just peeled it cut it in half and then I'm cutting it in little dices just like that sometimes I'll take the big side of my grater and I'll just grate it but I want to have a little bit more texture so I'm cutting it in just these little old teeny cubes this morning okay and it's going to have onions and celery, broccoli, cauliflower, chicken, chicken broth, heavy cream, and uh, chicken. If I didn't already say chicken. All right. Now, I think that may be all the carrots that I put in it. That's about a half a cup. And have y'all ever bought an onion? a really big nice onion well these come came in a bag and right in the center it's beginning to rot so that's what happened to this uh to my onion this morning so i had to take it apart take out the bad part but i'm keeping the good part and i'm gonna cut it up i'm just gonna dice it i've already got a little bit diced here so i just cut it in a little strip since I'm having to, uh, since I'm not having a whole half of an onion, I'm just having to do it in pieces. So I'm just cutting it little strips. Then I'll take it and turn it around like this. And I'll cut it in little bitty dices. Just about like I'm trying to, about like I do my carrots. And I'm going to do my celery the same way. And I'm only going to put like a half a cup. That's this right here is a half a cup. So I'm only going to put like a half a cup of onions, a fourth or a third of a cup of carrots, and uh, that's probably four cups of uh, broccoli, and I'll do about probably two cups of cauliflower, and I may put some white beans in this, I'm not sure for protein, of course I'm going to have chicken in it. But white beans, like navy beans, great northern beans, they have lots of uh, protein in them. So, and if you live up north where it's really, really cold, those you need those beans because they are uh, they're really good for you. Okay. Woo! That's a strong onion. Onion in here, and that's a half a cup of onion. Goodness, that's burning my eyes bad. All right, I'm not going to do the rest of that. I'll just put it in a Ziploc bag. Woo. Now, my cauliflower, y'all, mm, making me cry. I'm just going to cut my cauliflower in little bite-sized pieces, just like I did my uh, broccoli. And this little stem right here on the cauliflower, I'm and I did the same thing with some of my broccoli. I'm cutting it in little bitty pieces, little slivers-like, because that's good to eat, too. 
And then a sofa or something like that, I don't throw that away. I just put it in there. And it's kind of like a, chews down kind of like a potato. I like the texture when myself. You, yeah, it, it does. Mm -hmm. It gives it a little bit of texture. My nose is beginning to run, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going, I'm just cutting my cauliflower about like I did my broccoli. Just little bite-sized pieces. And that's what I mean by that little stem right there. I just cut it in little slivers because there is is good. Like water chestnuts. Yeah, kind of like a yeah, honey. Well, is it kinda chestnut like a, or a crest? What is it? Chestnut, mm -hmm. water chestnut. Y'all, tears are streaming down my face. That was a strong onion. Okay. I'll get this. My chicken still likes about probably fifteen minutes. Uh, getting done. And I'm going to use the chicken broth out of my chicken in my uh, soup. And I it called, I usually put heavy cream in it. I don't have heavy cream today, so I'm using evaporated milk. And uh, it'll be just as good as the heavy cream. It has a little different flavor, but you won't be able to tell it in this uh broccoli soup because broccoli has a strong flavor I and mean, cauliflower not so much all right now my celery i've already washed and de-strung de de-stringed what well there's one my celery but the way you do that and i've shown y'all lots of times before you take your knife you go under it and you pull like that well i didn't de-string it very well did i but you know what? I don't care how many times you do it. You're going to still get some string. So. But I like to get as many of them off as I can. Okay. Now, for some reason, and I don't know why, sometimes your celery will have little, what I call rust. It's just a little dark spot. Can you see that, honey? Mm -hmm. Right there. And I think it's where water has gotten on it and it's just rusted that's what it looks like to me because it's like that sometimes when it comes out of the pack all right i'm just going to cut my celery in a little strip like this and then i'm going to try to cut it about the same size as my carrot because i want really small pieces Okay, uh, we've got our veggies prepped. We're waiting on our uh, chicken to cook. So when I get through with this one, I'm going to cut up that piece of celery, and then we'll get back with you, and uh, we'll make our soup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, my chicken is ready, and I've got two cups here. I've got a little bit more if I decide I want to put more in it. Uh, and I put one bouillon cube in my pan with my chicken broth, and there's probably three, three, four cups of chicken broth. Now, before I put my broccoli and cauliflower, because broccoli and cauliflower cook so quickly, I'm going to add my carrot. Oh. I'm going to add my carrots, my celery, and my onions, and I'm going to let them cook about five minutes just to get tender a little bit because it takes them longer to cook than it does the broccoli and the cauliflower. So that was half a cup of onions, half a cup of, uh, and I cut up the rest of that carrot, half a cup of carrot, and third cup of celery. All right, to that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic. Now, this is going to be simple. Broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, onion, celery, uh, chicken, heavy cream, a little garlic, salt, pepper, cheese. 
Sounds like a lot of ingredients, but it's really not. I need to taste of it to see if I've got enough salt in it. But always taste of it, especially since I put that uh, bouillon cube in it because it's real salty, and I salted my chicken. Got plenty of salt, especially when I get the cheese in there. Uh, so I am going to add a little pepper though, because I hadn't put any pepper. And this is just to your taste. All right. And I am also in ours going to put just a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. Not much, just a little bit. We call it threatening it. Yeah, just threatening it. You threaten it to be hot, but you don't really want it to be it's hot. It's just enough that you get a hint of the taste and just a hint of, of hot without being hot. The threat of heat. We like it so you don't, it doesn't burn your mouth, but you feel it just as it goes down your throat. So, all right, I'm going to put my lid on here and I'm going to let these vegetables cook about five minutes. They're on medium low. And then we're going to come back, put our broccoli and cauliflower and heavy cream and chicken. And then when that cooks a little while, we're going to put our cheese in it. So, and this is about two cups of cheese. I got pepper jack and sharp cheddar. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Uh-oh. She's got the hot sauce in her hand. This is 100 years of flavor. Louisiana pure hot sauce. Okay, 1923, and it's 2023. You reckon it's been aging at all? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Your brand name is Crystal? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. A lot of times I get the Louisiana, Louisiana hot sauce, but okay. this is just what they had in the store that I was in. All right, that's like two cups of cauliflower, probably uh, three cups of broccoli. All right, this is going to be a thick soup. I'm going to go ahead and put my cream in it. Okay, now what I may do, because I want this a little creamy, I may take my immersion blender and blend uh, yeah. the broccoli and cauliflower up some. I think that's probably what I will do. I do want a thick soup, but I want a creamy, kind of creamy soup, too. Aren't you forgetting uh, your half a cup of uh, white beans? No, I decided not to put you them You decided there. not mm -hmm. to do it. Yeah. I should have known better than the question. <laughs> 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 I just said I might. I decided not to. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm going to let this cook. The broccoli and cauliflower will be done in three or four minutes, but I want it to really get, get soft, so I'm going to let it cook about 10 minutes. Grandma, that's a little noisy. It is noisy. Y'all, I decided to take my immersion blender, and I want this a little bit creamier than what it is right now. So I'm just blending up these vegetables just a little bit. I still want there to be some like semi-whole broccoli and cauliflower. But uh, have you ever seen a kitchen where somebody lifted that up while they were blending, honey? Well, yeah, because I've done it. <laughs> what does the kitchen look like? Not just the kitchen. The kitchen, you, and everything else. <laughs> All right, do y'all see this? I still got some whole. Broccoli and cauliflower in there, but it's creamier than it was. Yeah. So, okay. Did you decide to put the beans in or not? I did. I put a whole can of, of uh, white beans in it, but a lot of those white beans I blended up yeah. when I blended, so it just gave it just some makes it creamier, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Creamier in consistency. Mm -hmm. And I did the white beans because they are so good for you. And yeah. all right, I'm going to put my chicken in it. Now, this is two cups of chicken. I've got some more right here. Uh, that, but looks, that looks to be plenty in there. don't know if I'm going to add it because I don't want a whole lot of chicken. Now, if, if you want a lot of chicken, you can add it all. All right. And now I'm going to add my two cups of cheese. 
Her great grandmother was named Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason she loves I love cheese. cheese. I, I love, <laughs> I love yeah, cheese. Yeah, yeah. Now, right here, Barbara, I know you are dairy. Uh, you can't have dairy. Leave the cheese out. So you could put. Well, you can't have sour cream either, I guess. But uh, you could also put sour cream in this if you want to. What do you normally use instead of dairy products? Uh, Barbara. Barbara. Yeah, I don't. Just let us know. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna let this sit, just sit here for like uh, ten or fifteen more. Okay. Ten or fifteen more minutes, just a little bit. Just so all of this cheese gets melted. And then we'll be back and we're going to taste them for you. But that's the consistency I wanted. Still with some substance in it, but yet a little bit creamy. So we'll be Something good again. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. This is my pot of cheesy broccoli cauliflower soup. Mm -hmm. and this is my bowl of cheesy. <laughs> Broccoli, cauliflower soup. <laughs> well, I thought Look I got that. a spoon. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look how creamy that is. You want to taste the first bite, baby? Ah, it no, go ahead. I thought I got me a spoon out. All right, I did. Oh, well, y'all, I'll have to use this big one right here. <laughs> Woo! Tomorrow when it's 20 degrees in the morning, this is going to be good. Oh, my, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm. Could have just a little more of the sauce, hot sauce, a little more. Uh, but we can put it in the individual bowl. Indiv each individual person can put it there. It's, yeah. it's there, but it could be just a little more. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Honey. Now, if you want it really chunky, do not take your immersion, your immersion blender and blend it up. But I wanted mine more creamy with just a little bit of the cauliflower and broccoli. Mm. Ooh, that'd be good. That is so good. So good. All right. And is healthy. Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Make you some of this because it's cold. And it's going to feel so good going down. I'm going to keep her. Love if she keeps cooking like this, I'm going to keep her. See you next time.